Welcome back friends, this is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with another quick insight and today we're going to be talking about the Perception Neuron Studio Suit which I've been using for a little bit now, maybe coming almost like three weeks, two to three weeks and today I want to talk about how I'm using it for the updated characters for the adventures of Nkoza and Nancha. So we've redone our characters to better match the ones in the comic book and so when we remodeled everything we needed the characters to be animated and uh, so I had to try out the Perception Neuron Studio suit to see how well the quality works. So this is a session that I I captured right here and it has fingers and the full body and so that is the goal today. So guys if you're new to my channel I kindly ask that you spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell after you subscribe so you're alerted when you're uh, when I post a new video. And to all my faithful subscribers, thank you so much. Guys, look where we've got, how far we've come. And I want to give a shout out to my patrons on my Patreon account. Uh, it's so encouraging when I get support from you guys. Thank you so much and thank you for bu buying me a coffee. <laughs> I appreciate that. So let's go back to uh, Perception Neuron Studio. So this is the Axis Studio version and it, it you require to have a, a dongle for it to work it used to be free sorry it is free but i mean it used to be that you could download it and play with it and try it out uh before you could buy the suit but now you have to have the dongle in order to use the, the access studio but as you can tell i mean the quality looks great the finger capture is awesome I can't say <laughs> enough how happy I am with the results of this, you know, look at that. This has been exciting to go from the 2.0 version uh, to the studio version and see the difference in quality. And it did definitely is a, a big difference. The neurons are newer and the quality is definitely better and the gloves work really, really, really well. <laughs> okay, so the goal is to send this data into the character here. So now I've done other sessions where that are specific to these characters, but I wanted to show you this test that I did and how it looks over here. And so one of the, the first things that you have to do, again, is make sure that your broadcasting is enabled. And so you go to settings, uh, BVH broadcasting. So when you're capturing the data, usually you start off with the BVH capture. So this will be on and this will be off. Okay. And when you're done capturing the data, you turn this off and then you turn this on. So if you're doing it live, like you're sending the data live, then you're broadcasting from Access Studio to iClone or the Unreal Engine. So we're going to be using this to send the data that we've recorded over to iClone. And there's something very, very, very important. And I think it's been something that we've uh, kind of struggled with in using the access, the perception neuron mockup suit. And that is the thumb. The thumb is always kind of uh, twisted a little bit. And actually I'm not gonna adjust anything. I want you to see what happens like when I do this, okay? So I'm gonna, so these are the settings that I have. This, uh, if you want to send this to the Unreal Engine, make sure you turn off displacement. And there's a reason why. Okay, so let's go to iClone over here. So we select our character and then we go to plugins, go to motion live, and then click on motion live. So this will be popped up. And this is the character that is selected. I'm gonna make sure that uh, I select perception neuron. And once you're done, you click on this right here. So if you've entered everything correctly, uh, the, the IP address and all that, it should work right away, <laughs> right off the bat. Yeah, but there's another tutorial that I did for that. So we, today we're just going to focus on sending the data from uh, Access Studio to here. So let me zoom out. Let me zoom out a little bit so we can see the character better. And then press preview and press the space bar. So there's our character receiving the mockup from Access Studio. Now you notice something. Let me go ahead and pause over here. So you notice how the thumb is going way back here for this little guy. 
So the issue with the thumb is something that is new in Access Studio that is really good, is that yes, the thumb looks fine here, but over here it looks wonky. So the way to fix that is you go to the settings over here, and then under broadcasting, instead of using thumb open, which is usually the standard for when you're sending to a game engine, you simply change this to the Axis Studio. And press OK. Watch what happens to the thumb on that side. Press OK. And press play. There we go. So that fixes the thumb of the character so that it's not wonky and it's better. So whatever, I mean, that setting is, I highly, highly encourage you that whenever you're, you know, broadcasting data into iClone, that you definitely uh, change that setting to the Access Studio setting. Now, you notice that there are some, like this is breaking in here. That's just because of the nature of this, uh, the structure of our character. And so that I can easily fix after I record the data and just move the hands out, okay? So today, again, I was trying to show that the Access Studio, uh, Access Studio is able to send data into a custom character. This is a custom character. It's not a character creator three. This was modeled in Maya and rigged in Maya and then brought into iClone using uh, 3D Exchange. But you can see how well the data is going in there. <laughs> and uh, there's something, again, like I'll do a quick fix here. So what I'll do is instead of uh, streaming, I'm gonna actually record. So I go back to iClone and I'm gonna press space bar to stop previewing, previewing. And I'm gonna wait for this to loop. And I'm gonna press record now and space bar. So we're recording the data from Access Studio into iClone. And once it gets to the end, we we'll just press our uh, spacebar to stop the recording. So it's almost there. Character is dancing. And press spacebar. Okay. So now we can stop over here. We don't need to <laughs> keep this playing. By the way, I, I can't say it. thank you enough to the perception, uh, the perception neuron team, neuron mockup and Noitom. Thank you so much, guys, for your support and making this possible. I, I truly, truly appreciate you coming through for me. So here we are in iClone. Let me actually maximize and let's change the render. I'm gonna uh, bring up the timeline. I'm gonna make that the end point right there. And let's change this to th that number of frames. We want that to be the full. We don't need the rest of the end of that file. Rewind. And so you can see that when I press play, the shoulders are kind of close and they're poking into the side. So what we can do is let's turn off uh, Motion Live for now. And let me change render image to, <coughs> excuse me, 1080. So we can see that better. And now we can do some cleanup. Okay. So the way I do it, usually I go to the very frame where the mockup data is starting, so which is around around there. We can always trim that the rest of that off, but go to the frame where the mockup is affecting the character the most. Come up to the right hand side here, go to the motion tab, go to edit motion layer. And then I can click on the left shoulder, which is this one. And uh, let's start with the left, his left shoulder. And then make sure you're rotating on the local rotate, the local axis. And we can move this up like that. And then here, same thing. And just move the shoulder up a little bit. And let's press play. And I'm going to make, make sure I'm going to make this my endpoint for the animation. So now you see there's uh, some improvement, but we need to fix that a little bit more. And it, you have to pay attention. It's the shoulder that we're trying to rotate because when he goes back 
to the body. Yeah. So that's improved. The kind of, so <laughs> depending on the proportions of your character, that's how you, you're able to you know rotate and fix the shoulder, but the fingers are also fixed. And another quick way that you can fix the thumbs, if you want to edit a little bit, go to the very first frame, uh, simply go to the thumb itself over here. If that's the one that's giving you issues and just adjust it ever so slightly like that. Uh, do the same thing for the, the left hand thumb and it's just, it's just a tiny bit like that and then press play so that's improved. So that's how you fix the mock-up from the Perception or the Access Studio. If there anything, if there's anything that is not looking great, and I've did, I mean, I've done this in a short period of time. In about, uh, this took about 13 minutes to get to here, and so imagine if you had like a, an hour or so, you'd be able to fix a lot more than that. But thank you so much, guys, for joining me today. Uh, I was trying to, uh, my goal today was to demonstrate uh, the data, uh, mock-up data coming from the Axis uh, Studio suit into iClone using a custom character to show that you can quickly animate your character using mock-up and do the, make the character dance. And now I can do facial animation after this. I can even have my head mounted camera and do like a, a combo you know, of the uh, the two. So I can have both the full body and facial motion capture, but that's the lesson for today and uh, the insight. So thank you again for joining me today. Please, again, spare a minute to subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, hit that notification bell so you're alerted when, you're, when I post a new video. And again, thank you so much to my patrons. Much, much appreciation, guys. And do check out the Axis uh, Studio suit on the new perception neuron website and have a go at it because i think it's it's definitely worth it it really is worth it. especially if you're a small studio and you you have like a, a children's series or sci-fi sci short film i think this is a really good suit to have very very good and especially the gloves <laughs> that's it i mean imagine me trying to animate this in 13 minutes uh it will take me a lot longer to get this kind of uh, animation within that period of time so see you next time, guys, and bye for now. Much love and please stay safe. Dare to dream big and don't give up on your dreams at all. Thank you so much.